I have been meaning to replace my Logitech keyboard for a while now. It isn't that the Logitech keyboard is bad or something, but I just need something that isn't mushy or one keyboard that I won't have my fat fingers pressing the wrong keys on. Well, I may have found a great keyboard that's both portable and great to type on. This is my review of the Tugus AKB862. The Tugus AKB862 is a compact Bluetooth keyboard. When I initially got this for my office setup, I didn't actually think it would be that good. Honestly, I was surprised at how sturdy it felt when I first unboxed it. I knew that the keys felt great when I first tested it out, but I never knew that I would love this keyboard that much. Anyway, first things first, this keyboard is more of a mix between a 60% and 75% keyboard. It has the F keys but doesn't have the page keys you'd usually see on both sizes of keyboards. Basically, this is a laptop keyboard, just detached. And like conventional laptop keyboards, these in fact have low profile chiclet keys. This keyboard is fairly small and has a 10 degree angle, which isn't adjustable if you prefer using a flat keyboard or a taller one. It's also lightweight since it's made out of plastic. However, because of the sturdy and solid build, you might think this keyboard is heavier than it really is. As small and as thin as it is, I honestly wouldn't take it with me wherever I go though. First of all, I'm not sure how the keys would fare if I repeatedly pushed and pulled it out of my bag. Tuggers didn't provide any sort of cover out of the box to protect the keys. A minor annoyance would be the protruding bulge of the feet where the batteries are situated. No doubt that the keyboard is slim, but the bulge would be annoying to deal with in tight bags. The bulge does have a purpose though, because as I mentioned, that's where the batteries are located. This keyboard uses two AAA batteries that are actually included when you buy it. I haven't used this keyboard for long, but for the month or so I've been using it during office hours, the battery is still holding up strong. Would it have been nice if Targus used rechargeable batteries instead? Well, yeah, of course, but you can still use rechargeable AAAs too, you know. But I do wonder if they plan on doing so because the case does indicate something of that idea. Either that or they use a case from another keyboard that is able to do so. One understated design of the chiclet keys is the rounded and concave shape. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure why I really appreciate these, but I just do. At least for me, they kinda make it easier to discern each key instead of accidentally pressing the key next to the one that I intended to press. What's more important though is that I'm in love with the typing feel of this keyboard. It's tactile and I can actually feel each keystroke I make. I'm not a fast typer per se, but I feel like I'm typing fast when I use this keyboard. Obviously, this won't rival most mechanical keyboards in terms of typing feel, but I like this more than how most membrane keyboards feel. Just in case you're curious though, Targus has implemented scissor keys on this keyboard. A small concern that I have is regarding the legends, which are simply printed on. So I'm not really sure how long these will last until they rub off. However, credit where credit is due, the printing is very clear so you won't have any trouble distinguishing them. There is little to no rattle when it comes to this keyboard. It does exist in the shift keys and spacebar but it isn't noticeable unless you look for it. It also sounds good, at least for chiclet keyboards that is. So here's a short sound test. As I mentioned earlier, this is a Bluetooth keyboard and it utilizes Bluetooth 5.1. It can connect up to 3 devices and you can switch between them with the function key while pressing either the 1, 2 or 3 key. To pair it with a new device, you simply press the function and Z or Z key. Both pairing and switching between devices work seamlessly. This doesn't have media controls, 
so you'll have to rely on the function key. In terms of lag or latency issues, so far I personally haven't run into any. Keep in mind though, I've only been using this for typing up scripts and articles. It's worked great for that purpose as I haven't noticed any latency issues. And since this is staying in my office, unfortunately I haven't had any chance to use it for gaming. This might work well with more casual and indie titles. However, I wouldn't use this for shooters or platformers where you need to time your key presses precisely. I'm also not sure if this would be suitable for MOBAs since I don't really play those types of games. Just to keep it simple though, you'd be better off with a wired or specific gaming keyboard if you're playing games that require precise keystrokes. So why don't I just replace the Logitech with this Targus instead? Well, I've already made up my mind that it would stay in the office. The second reason is that I'm looking for a mechanical keyboard for my home setup instead. I just feel like having a proper keyboard would not only boost my motivation to type more, but also be a bit better for the casual gaming that I'll be doing. Now, are these actually valid reasons? Honestly, no. But as with everything, it all comes down to preferences. And my preference for the Targus AKB862 is for office use only. It still is a great keyboard to type on and the compact size is great for those who are always on the go. But for me, I just prefer something beefier for my home setup. And I hope you guys understand that that's just my personal preference. So just to recap, the Targus AKB862 is a compact Bluetooth keyboard that offers an amazing typing feel for a very reasonable price. It's an amazing keyboard for those always on the go and prefer Bluetooth or laptop style keyboards for their tablets, phones, or laptops obviously. Just keep in mind about the minor downsides that I've mentioned. Anyway, that's it for my review of the Targus AKB862. As always, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one.